Welcome back to Box Cross Breakdown. Everybody feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. The Peterborough Lakers Senior A team won the Man Cup over the weekend. Holden Katoni led the way with three goals and six assists, so today we're going to look at every point he had. There's a reoccurring theme of the night. Katoni's going to drive over top here, and typically when we drive over top, defenses break down. Watch these two defenders go towards him. There's a little bit of confusion, right? We move the ball east-west, and because there's a little bit of confusion there with those two defenders, Vitarelli's right here ready for a catch and shoot, and he buries it. Great finish and great drive by Katoni. This is Katoni's first goal tonight. Honestly, it's just a great individual effort, but there's a reason why he scores here, so watch. He does a great job of getting contact in this one-on-one, -on -one, works to get top side. As he gets it, he buries a shot. Can't stress this enough, you need to be able to get to contact and box across for one-on-ones, right? He does a great job of driving his defender down and rolling back, and also pay attention to Vitarelli here who slips to the middle, so there's no easy switch for these defenders. Allows him to get his hands free, that's what allows him to bury the shot as he comes back over top side. This is Katoni's second goal tonight. Pay attention to Vitarelli here. This is great work in the two-man game. Gets these defenders parallel and watch the timer of this pick. Sets it literally at the last second and it creates so much confusion between these two defenders. Watch. Sets that pick. There's so much indecision between these two defenders and Katoni's just got an easy step down rip far side. That is a prime example of a pick assist. Great work by Vitarelli and great work by Katoni. In this next clip, Katoni just moves the ball east to west for the two-man game. Gets credited with an assist, but I want you guys to pay attention to Thomas Hogarth, number 19 here for the Peterborough Lakers. I'm going to be doing a separate video for him because he does a great job in the two-man game here, and he does it in a bunch of other scenarios throughout this series, so just be on the lookout for that. Great berry here by Hogarth. Now, in this clip, Katoni gets credited with what's called a shot assist, so he takes a rip here. Matthews picks up the ball, he's going to move it to the far side and it's going to get moved back to Matthews and he's going to score. Um, there's a reason why shot assists are a thing and you're going to see why later on in the video, but just wanted to include this just so you guys could see it. This was my favorite goal of the evening, just a simple give and go play, but there's a reason why it worked so well. And I'm not sure if you guys just saw it there, but let's rewind it. Awesome little nuance of the game here. Watch Matthews grab the defender stick, rip it up, and then down, and then cut towards the middle. Gets a separation. Katoni's got his head up. Easy feed, and an easy finish. It's something every box across offense men should have in their arsenal. It's called a stick rip or a jam. Great offense. Now, this next clip is Katoni's fifth assist of the evening, and I told you guys that shot assists are a thing, and this is why. Tony gets an opportunity here with his hands free, takes a shot, goes right off the boards, and Vitarelli's there to pick up the garbage and put it in the net. For his last assist of the night, once again he's working to get top side, which is going to cause the off-ball defenders to slough in towards the middle. And what I mean by slough in is because Katoni's getting top side, they have to sag in towards the middle to see if they need to help and offer support, which makes this a super easy one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Reseteritz to go at his defender full speed, get towards the cage, and score. That's a big time goal by Reseteritz in game 7, but again that is all a product of Katoni initiating by getting top side and forcing defenders to help in. For his final goal of the night, he gets an easy empty netter to cap off an incredible performance and a big win for the Peterborough Lakers who go on to take the Man Cup. That's it for today's video guys. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate the support and really hope this is helping anybody out there watching this understand the game of box across better or potentially make you a better player. Uh, stay tuned for the Thomas Hogarth video. I'll be releasing that in the next few days, but uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time and thanks again.